they're doing all the makeup for. Deja. Hey, Hello. how's it going? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, they are doing their first, uh, basically the classic photo club. So they're working on that as their first application. Oh, that's cool. That's the best part. Get everyone's expressions while they're everyone's freaking out. Sad. <laughs> sad clowns and any mad clowns? Uh, not today. All sad clowns? All sad clowns today. Uh, this is one of those weird days where we have to keep everybody doing the same thing. I see. Just because it is their first day at cosmetics. Yeah. So it's a really good way to be able to see everybody's skill level and do some different work. Just makeup in here? Just makeup in here. Yes. So yesterday they also had foundations and effects with Jerry and they have sculptures. I got confused. <laughs> yeah, so the other first semester classes you have sculpture one and then you have what's your what's your first semester gender? I don't even remember. Anatomy. Anatomy, anatomy, oh, okay. anatomy Yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of the work downstairs. It's awesome. You said there was a video that was being shot today or something? Oh, yeah, that's on the film stage. So, back from the other mm -hmm. buildings, it will be over there. They haven't set up for that yet. So What is it? It's a music video for, like, a local artist. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, so, they built a huge stage over there, and then they'll be filming. So, it'll be all the film kids in there. I think they might have gotten a couple grads to come in and film. Do you want to make one Hey, guys, can I have your attention for a minute? Thank you. This is Allie Fleeman. In case you guys don't remember me from orientation, prayer services. This is my friend Drew. He has his own YouTube. Hello again. He's just here kind of live streaming a little bit. If any of you guys have any interest in YouTubing or how it works or anything like that, feel free to talk to him. Um, he's probably just going to walk around and... I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'll pretend I do. Yeah, yeah. He'll probably ask you some questions. You guys don't mind, right? No. Just pretend I'm not here. I'm just coming to micromanage your work. And tell you how good you're. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you're gonna make them feel <laughs> a little uncomfortable. What kind of makeup do you guys use here? Is it like just one brand, or everyone gets to pick what they want? We use a, a kind of a, a selection of them. We use Mehron. We use Benai. We use a little bit of everything. There are certain products from certain lines that that work for specific things. Yep. Are you guys all doing sad clowns today? That's what we she was are. telling me. We are doing sad clowns. You don't mind I'm videotaping you being a sad clown, right? Oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> Am I going on YouTube? You're already on YouTube. You are on YouTube. It's live. Yeah. Everyone's watching you. I went to Pittsburgh Pride on Sunday and some random guy took my photo and it's on Instagram. I found him because he used a Pride's hashtag and I felt so famous. It was somebody that had like a big profile? No, uh, was, just like, random. He just had a cool camera. Yeah. I was on the side. It was pretty good. Now I use just my cell phone to do this stuff because it, it picks up the signal a lot better than like if I'm using a GoPro or a regular camera or anything, I have to have all this extra special gear to, to live stream the data. So with the cell phone, it's easy. I can just turn it on at any point and just point it at everyone and it's all good. I was curious. I wanted to come by and see what you guys all do over here and stuff. And she told me I could come live stream it. So I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. Let's see your work and what you guys do. What do you want to do? Be a special effects artist. Yeah, for movies, TV, for any? anything. I'm not picky. <laughs> I was worth money. I would work with hunts. I would face paint. I this is my first actual time. That's cool. Well, you never did for your friends or anything, so you're just learning now as you go. Yeah, kind of like new students everywhere learning new stuff. I'm like, I want to do try this because it seems real interesting. I love face off. You have to uh, definitely look up a ton of videos because you'll get so many ideas off that, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you know what made you look? Mm -hmm. I love her. Yeah, she's got some really good work. She does a lot of horror type makeup, Ooh. but she does a lot of cosplay stuff too. And she is very, very detailed with her line work. So everything looks extremely 3D and realistic on her. Who's that other kid? Um, he does all the Omegle stuff. Have you seen who I'm talking about? Yeah, he's like European, right? Something like that. I forget his name. It's like Jack. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> he he goes on Omigo and like trolls yeah. a bunch of people with crazy monster he's makeup. Like a bunch of creepy pasta. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was on creepy pasta once on the front page. Yeah, I did a, a video at my old house that 
was supposedly haunted. I had security systems up, so I caught a bunch of really crazy footage, and I posted it up on my channel, and Creepypasta picked it up because it was so odd, the stuff that I captured. Believe it or not, now I'm actually on the cemetery. They have even more footage I got from crazy stuff. But I'll leave you guys alone so you can go back to doing your makeup. I'm curious to see how everyone's gonna look when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, have fun. No, I haven't yet. We can try it out. Hopefully the connection doesn't die. Look at all the doors here. Look at this. What's going on? I'm just doing a live stream over at this film school where they do uh, special effects makeup and a bunch of other cool stuff. Where's the Freddy? We gotta show the Freddy. Is that a burnt up doll? Mm -hmm. He's burnt up like a weenie and his name is Fred. How's the connection? Does it look okay up here? Look at this thing. Who's this guy? No clue. Somebody told me it was from a video game, but I have absolutely no idea. Do, do any of you guys know which character this is from which game? Because it looks familiar, but I don't know who it is. Is this like a Halo alien? I mean, I don't know. The, the weapons kind of look Halo-ish, but I haven't played any of the newer Halos, so I only know like the older ones. I don't know, I'm sure somebody will tell me eventually when they see that kind of stuff. Knows, that would be great. Yeah, I'll let you know if somebody points that out and tells <laughs> me what it is. Bye, Deja. Bye. Thank you for having me. See you later, no problem. Have Bye. It's nice meeting you guys. Enjoy the rest of your tour. Thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go down the stairs this time and we'll see if we can keep this connection. It doesn't die out on me. So far, so good. Oh, uh, here, check this out. By what? Tom, all these busts were done by Tom's. Oh, yeah? He made them all like by hand and stuff? Yeah. yeah. That's so awesome. Oh, nice. So, this is second semester sculpting. Like I said, they're getting ready to work on their maquettes and stuff. I talked to some of you the other day about him. He has his own YouTube channel. If you guys have any questions about YouTube, but I know that you guys specifically with the channel do, he's your guy to talk to. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Sculpting men. <laughs> <laughs> sure, what's up? Oh man, that's that. It depends. It's like very, very different depending on what you're trying to do. There we go. Now everyone can see everything. You're here and people are seeing you. It's the same thing. It's just you don't see them back. So yeah, it's probably creepy, but I can also see myself. So don't, don't look. Don't look. <laughs> are you doing? You're doing YouTube videos? Yes. How are you doing YouTube videos if you are afraid of looking at yourself? Um, I do makeup. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not in the videos. I just, I do makeup. Regular so far, makeup. right now, we have um, a little short that we did. Um, we did do the interview, like the introduction. Did you let in? I was in that, and it was very hard. What's your job? I actually drank a bunch of beers outside. And then... I don't drink anymore, but I, I understand the, the scary feeling of having to know Put that you're in front of the camera and mm -hmm. then yeah. it's going to be posted Judge for him. the world to see and yeah. all Anxiety. of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, I still go through that on a regular basis. Right before I hit that record button, mm -hmm. I, I freak out internally. You guys all share a channel or how do yes. what, what do you guys do? Uh, well, we're doing short films and like little clips. 
But I mean, like, you guys all have access to yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. That's cool. But you guys all just work as a team. As a team, you know, we collaborate different stories that we want to make part of, and we make the film. You just started though, right? Yeah. So you're not even partnered or anything. That's like where you get paid. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, so how'd you do it? <laughs> yeah, so I, um, I started my channel in 2006. Okay. So I've been doing it for a very long time without the getting paid part. Yeah. And that was just because I enjoy doing it. And then when I finally started having the opportunity to get paid, when I had a couple videos go viral, it just made sense for me to keep going and make a career out of it. I don't want to go to a nine to five, who does? But if you, and especially like what you guys are doing that's creative and it's you, it's your art. Yeah. You know, you want to be able to show that and, and make a living doing it. Do you guys upload it uh, regularly or is it well, sporadic? We or? Yeah, we, yeah. We have, so you have one video. Yeah. Uh, what's the plan? Well, we kind of had a vision. Yeah. Uh, to do the videos, then to show behind the scenes of the video and exactly how we did that makeup. So it's gonna be like a kind of like a three part or four part process of just seeing that short film, and then we'll put it out another short film. Okay. And yeah. So. Who do you guys watch? Uh, I watch Glam Girl uh, or Gore Girl. Um, I also watch uh, Six stuff. Um, I was telling them upstairs about Major Look. Yeah, and yeah. Like yeah. A couple other people yeah. too that uh, they do really awesome makeup. But I would suggest. Yeah for what you're doing to look at the other people that are doing what yeah. you do and kind of base off of what works for them and see little by little what works for you guys. So you put up a video, you see what kind of feedback you get and then you go from there. Like with my videos, I have a lot of different types of videos I do. So it's not just live streaming, like I also edit videos and very few people do all of the above. It's usually your one or the other. Like you either edit videos and upload them to YouTube or you live stream. It's like, I don't really see a lot that do both. So I've been trying to kind of, uh, what I did was I created a bunch of different categories in my playlists and each playlist is set up for a different category of like what I'm shooting. So I have, like I have exotic pets that I work with and, and wild animals. So I have a whole bunch of playlists for that. But then I also have a bunch of music and band stuff because I'm also a musician. So it's like, it's just the whole, Variety and now I just started like a whole gaming one. You know, nice. I hate when I go to somebody's page and they're like, "Yeah, visit me on my gaming channel here," and then I have my vlog channel here, and then if you want to see my other it's stuff here, shot. it's just a lot, and it's a lot to keep up with. Yeah, it's it's hard to really gauge all of that anyway in the beginning. Yeah, you know, until you start really getting feedback. When you guys film it, is it more like a like you guys are doing it almost like it's a show? Um, what is it? Is it short it's like a, like a little short clip of like the makeup that we created. So like we created like a monster. It's a monster and maybe like attacking a girl. It's like so a, like, it's a, like a montage. Like a yeah. Like we want to be able to film beyond the scenes. Showing that we're having fun and that this is something you could do. Why aren't you filming this stuff? Right? Uh, <laughs> well we haven't had it. Yeah. Well I can't say we haven't had the chance. We totally could have. I didn't get the camera and yeah. film students are in class and that And that's what you're here for. Yeah, after a few years of me doing this and then when I finally started making money doing it, now every time I go anywhere, that's the first thing on my mind. And it's just a part of who you become is like, what can I videotape and what can I show other people that's interesting? Yeah. So regardless of, of what I'm doing or where I am, I have the ability to just turn on my phone and just capture it. And if I don't want it to be live, I can edit it later. Yeah. And that, that comes with having a background in editing and all that, which most people don't. So for me, I got lucky because I have the ability to do all that. You know, I don't have to hire anyone or have any help. Did you ever have like a slow process of when you first started? Like, was there any like type of struggle that maybe we should know about? Like comments. comments? Yeah. Uh, as soon as one of your videos go viral, the one thing you'll notice is hate. Oh, yeah. Lots of hate. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. Somebody's gonna find something to make fun of yeah. or say something yeah, and you no, can't yeah. let that stuff bother you And that's that's one of the hardest things for a lot of people is as soon as the, the comments start coming in is when people give up They'll pick on everything. It doesn't matter and you have to also be okay with watching yourself because 
like I have to see myself on video all day. I wasn't okay with that in the beginning. I freaked out all the time. I still like you see when I played shows when mm -hmm. I would drink myself to a stupor because I was just afraid of getting up in front of people. Yeah. So then to do that, this is even harder than getting up on stage. I don't know why. It's just it's not natural for you to walk around with a camera. Yeah. I agree and videotape yourself. Yeah. Like it's easy for me to pick up and go, what are you guys doing? Yeah. But when you're doing it to yourself or having like, yourself videotape, <laughs> it's all over the place. Because then you're worrying about how you look, how you sound, what you're doing, who's going to watch, and everything else. He used to always camera in my face at shows all the time, and I would just like, push his camera down, or I would like, turn my head, say something really inappropriate, and walk away. Like, I would panic every single time. And then the last time we streamed together, I was like, here's my hood, I'm going to hide. And this is the first time I've been okay with it. Oh, so it's okay. Okay. Yeah, you, it becomes second nature once you do it a lot. I started actually live streaming when I was 15, which was 90s. I mean, imagine, like, that's a long time. I can't even think back. Like, I was streaming, like, my, I had uh, beta fish, and they were, like, yelling at each other through glass and flaring up, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever, so I put a camera on it and live streamed it, and then it, it, I instantly had, like, 100 people watching, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever, and I got addicted and then on. I was just like, oh, this is so cool. People can watch it happening right now. It's definitely like I have to be conscious of what's around constantly while I'm videotaping. Because if you get something that you're not supposed to, you're going to leak somebody's information and then you'll get banned. Or if somebody's doing something in the background illegal or whatever, you can get in trouble for that. So it's you constantly have to be all over the place. But with editing and videotaping, yeah. you don't have to worry about it. Um, did you guys start it because you wanted to, or was it part of that city? Like, well, actually, we talked about it. Yeah, yeah, we've been talking about it for a yeah. while, like a while. Yeah, and then that, and then the city. And then we were just like, well, yeah. Like, well, we'll we'll start. Start. We'll start. We'll start. So I knew a lot of my viewers were young, mm -hmm. so I stopped doing a lot more of the hardcore stuff I was doing that yeah. they're not really allowed to watch because. That's where most of my viewers were, so I'm like, I'm just gonna keep losing people if I'm just posting a bunch of party footage and people getting drunk and whatever, and then half my videos were getting banned or demonetized. Like, that's another big thing now. It's like yeah, next to impossible that, yeah. Yeah, to have your videos stay up without getting flagged. Yeah, I think it's the ones watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there's a bunch of people watching right now. No pressure. Probably not, it's kind of early. 17 at the moment, so. But what happens is, <laughs> I did it. No. Yeah. You said more than two, and now they're. Well, what happens is like I, I'll edit it later and cut it all up with other footage that I got here, and then that video will probably get in the thousands. Yeah, so but when I'm, do when I'm doing it, <laughs> hey, do whatever you want. Everyone's watching. I think it's awesome coming in here and just seeing it. So. I guarantee there's other people out there. Just think think about, like, what is the system going to think about my video? Okay. If it sees anything bad in it, you know, if somebody reports it. But in the beginning, I wouldn't worry. I would just do whatever you guys do and just put it all out there as much as you can. And you'll figure out from that what yeah. works for you. Because what I tell you might work for me, but yeah. for you guys it might be completely different. Yes. It was nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, this is awesome. I I love to see all this kind of stuff because I grew up around horror movies. That's and cool. Everything. So. I hope you guys are enjoying this too. <laughs> There's more like of the student bus down there, the yeah. Frankenstein down there. Oh, let's see it. You can show me here. I'll flip this around. Yeah, you guys have fun. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sure they've all gotten a little bit farther in their spots too. You can check those out. But oh yeah. What's the difference between all the clays? Like, cause I had, I worked with clay before, but like the white clay, and I know they all have different consistencies, right? Is that what it is? The medium hard. What, this stuff? Yeah. So you can still um, push it around pretty easy, but it won't, it's not like the soft clay that you would use like when you're doing pottery. And later on this semester, we'll be doing something called Super Sculpey, which also stays soft, but the, you have to put into an oven. Right, you bake it, yeah. That's the stuff I was using. Yeah, but if you bake it for too long, at too high of a temperature, it'll crack. These are different, or is that just painted? This is from a mold. Oh, so that's just to reference? Yeah, that's just a reference. Cool. Are you guys all doing the same thing? 
just building a body. Sculptures, and then after this, we have to do our female figures. Are you guys going to do all the details with uh, the muscles like muscles and everything? Yeah. That's so awesome. I always wanted to learn how to do that, to do character building and stuff, but I never got into it too much. Yeah. I'm going to see these. Where? Oh, you're talking about like these? Yeah. Oh, nice. There you go. Now you can see it. Are those plastic chains painted? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, they'd be really heavy otherwise. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks for showing me around all this yeah, stuff. For sure. I hope they all enjoyed seeing all this. Okay. Bye. Feel free to hit me up online. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Where are we going now? They're using a head to hold the door open. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. That's the door holder. <laughs> That's our biggest makeup room. Oh, nice. This is where I'm going to come and get ready whenever I need a, a room to get ready in. <laughs> Look at this. Can I show all this stuff? Yeah. Okay. Too late. I already showed it anyway. Ooh, can I show you? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hi, hey, you're back. <laughs> yeah, tell them about the school. What? Oh. She wants to not be on camera. No, it's not pointing at you. You're no, good. no, I was going to tell you something about the camera. Uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can Jerry. say it on camera. No one will mind. Yes, I'm on my What? Jerry! Yeah, but that's not going to affect me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jerry, come with come, 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 come meet them. Come meet, come, come, come here. Why? I will I'll drag push you into this room. I'll this is Jerry Gray. Nice to meet you. What's going on? Yeah, I'm just getting ready to go to He's the technical director of the program. He's also. Oh, okay, cool. I feel like they should change the name of the school from Tom Savini to Jerry Gray. He's amazing. He's my Mr. Feeney. He's my idol. Jerry's my rider guy. He'd probably be better off telling you about the school than me. Do you do makeup and sculpting too, and all that, or? I do everything. Everything? So Jerry worked on Buffy. Oh, cool. Yeah, I worked in Los Angeles for many, many years. I've been doing this for about 30 years. And Tom, I worked for Tom back in the day. Which Buffy, the TV show or the movie? Oh. X-Files, Buffy, nice. Belmont 5, Charmed, Roswell, I worked on all those shows. The remake of Another Living Dead? Yeah. What'd you do for, for that? For, for all those, like you were doing. I was uh, the key special effects artist on that one five, the uh, nomination. Um, Buffy, I was the head painter at Optic Nerve Studios for everything that was on the screen for four seasons. And uh, X Files, I worked on various episodes, um, doing special effects, constructing stuff. Did you get to meet Enigma, the puzzle guy? Yes, I did. Yeah, dude, he was actually on a couple of videos of mine on my channel. Yeah, he was he was living out by me for where I was for a little while, and I've also met him on the road a few times because I play music. But I saw him on X Files. That's what made me think of that when you said you worked on there. That's awesome, man. That's a good uh, a good list. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So growing up, I was kind of like Tom Savini is the shit, and then I got here, and he's like, no, it's actually Jerry. Jerry's yeah. the guy. <laughs> it gave me a chance to do what I really wanted to do, which was uh, start my own studio and do sculptures and fine art stuff. Yeah. So. Which molds do you sell in your office? Are they anything cool? <laughs> <laughs> you taking up his time? Yeah. He's gonna get angry. This is all uh, student work. I've seen those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is from Night of the Living Dead, the remake. 1980s is the uh, Bob Evans zombie. Cool. Yeah, it's done with that actress. This is the actual mold. Still get good pieces out of this. And you did that? Yes. And this is the bathrobe zombie from Nyla Head. The original, original mold and the actress here. That's the zombie there. This never actually made it onto the screen. They actually recast 
this actress with the real skinny zombie that comes in the window. They oh. had her, she, her acting was kind of eh. So they re, they reshot it with another actor. How bad of an actress do you have to be when like, you can't be a zombie? That's the way she reacted to the dumb shots. Oh, yeah. Okay. I recognize that. <laughs> yeah, that was done by a student. Ryan Pintar. It looks good. Yeah. It's time to see. <laughs> yeah. Tim Savoni. Thank you for showing me. Okay. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'll stop having you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate All right. it. <laughs> so, when Jerry was talking about Night of Living Dead, this is from it. Um, some of the stuff up here from Babylon 5. There's Martin Sheen up there. Just the, the Buffy Bros. Um. Yeah, Night of the Living Dead was the movie that made me realize I want to make movies, and then Buffy was the thing that made me realize I wanted to do makeup. That so. you wanted to be a vampire? <laughs> he just graduated. He was from Thailand. <laughs> it was like, here, everything I see from students, it's all amazing. Like, really, really good quality stuff. Is that Jaws? It is. Will's so. our eye guy, and he does the guys like that. Oh, he like the it. one that you showed me down? Yeah. Um, the big the one? giant one? Yeah, he did that one. All right. So let's just see that real quick if we can before the stream dies out, and then I'll say goodbye to everyone. Oh, so mold making room? Yeah, they do all like casts and giant molds and stuff. You can tell it's a mold making room. Because <laughs> it's nice and dusty. There's some life casts back there if you're interested. No. Oh, yeah. It's the door holders. Yeah. <laughs> So much work. Look at all this. All the walls are like this over here. It goes all the way around. It's for baking oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, so this is our eye and teeth lab. This is the cleanest I've ever seen on a table. I feel like it's brand new. So these are some of the students' work here? That's actually, um, I'm not sure about this new one, but this one here was a new technique that Will was trying where he was sculpting it instead of painting it. These two, though, are from um, Kazu, who is like Will's guy, he's like Will's mentor, and he's kind of sort of retired now. So we'll oh yeah, there's the teeth. Yeah. And there's Falcor. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that. Look, it's a picture of Falcor. I should send you pictures of his eye to give them. Do it. There's geckos. There's a crested gecko. They're saying that this is really awesome and the stream has been sick, so they're Yay. enjoying it. Yay. Thank you guys. I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm, I'm trying to show you guys everything, so hopefully the stream, you know, lasts a little bit longer because they said they're shooting a video, so I'm going to grab my, can or my battery and I'll plug in so that way we can go over there and see if it'll all work. And yeah. Let's see this door. Do you guys do any uh, haunted houses? So one of our instructors, Ronzio, he has his own um, haunted hillside and that he gets a lot of students for. And then Deja, the three met upstairs mm -hmm. before, her and I work at 100 Acres Manor and we hire a lot of students for that. Too. Is that out here? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You'll have to tell me one day, maybe I'll travel out and come check it out. Yep. That What is all this? This is another thing that Ronzio and the students built. Um, it's like a, a electric chair thing? Yeah. It's really good for photo ops. <laughs> oh, look at the cool photo studio he's got going on over here. This is Rick. He's my big grumpy bear. In fact, don't poke the bear. <laughs> yeah, so that's the board of awesomeness. Every so often, Rick will pick like the best shots of a month, a couple weeks, however long he decides, and stick those up there. So that's all current student work. Some of it is some grads. Okay, so this is the photo studio. Students from the Savini building, uh, from the Savini program and the cosmetology program will come down here and they'll um, bring their work for me to photograph. So I'm the marketing coordinator and portfolio coordinator, so. Do you teach them how to do it too? Or do you yeah. show them like what so you're doing? we'll give them pointers on lighting and things like that. So when they graduate, they do have an idea of photography. Yeah. Uh, but with the, what they'll do is they'll bring uh, their work down here and I'll shoot it and then they'll get a 
portfolio. So when they graduate, they have a professional portfolio of their work. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, rather than just photos from um, their phones, you know, these are professionally shot. They get a yeah, it makes a huge portfolio. difference to show your work when it looks really good like that. Um, yeah. It's a little bit more professional. And old school people tend to like, you know, have yep. tactile things rather than just digital on them. The um, Savini class called Fashion Performance, they'll come down here and every week they'll do a different look. So it'll be like Harajuku makeup, gothic makeup, bridal makeup. Nice. Um, Cirque du Soleil. You know, a lot of stage and theatrical makeup, but then I'll shoot that in an environment that looks like it was on the set. Kind of the same thing with cosmetology. It's, it's not... Um, with them, they have themes that they have to um, adhere to. So they'll have to do like a bridal updo. They'll have to do... Um, like a man's cut, a woman's cut, a child, um, you know, things along those lines. Cool. We'll shoot, we'll use what we have on the campus, you know, we'll, a lot of, this Thursday we're shooting, um, where there's a little green space behind the school, we're going to shoot there. We shoot up on the fourth floor, I believe you guys visited there. Yeah, the students love to shoot up there, and we'll do, um, did you guys see the dungeon in the basement? Oh no, we didn't see the, that one. <coughs> so that's there. creepy, that's the Hellraiser hallway, so if anybody has seen the movie Hellraiser, mm -hmm. there's a scene where the girls are running down a hallway. Yep. They create a hallway that's identical to from the movie. Um, and then there's like a dungeon area with skulls in there. It's uh, it's really cool. So I'll shoot that down there for like a lot of things. What do you shoot with? Uh, like a... 5D, something like that, 6D? Uh, Canon 6D. 6D. <laughs> yeah, I prefer full frame, so whenever I came here, they were using Sony. At the time, Sony weren't the best cameras. Canon's had really good cameras, really good glass. The, you know, the lenses were for Canon are great. Yeah, I use a 60D with the yeah. 24 to 70 USM lens. Like, right. That thing's amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. so clear. And now, since everybody's doing using these DSLRs for video now, mm -hmm. I mean, the video, like the autofocus tracking capabilities for video now yep. is like even more tremendous. So. Did you see Mallory? Is in the one? The one This one here, Playtime? Yeah. yeah. That's your daughter? Yep. Well, and then that one right there, the last one that we did, that's Sarah who we were talking to over there. That's her son. Oh, okay. Yeah. And who does the graphics on this kind of stuff? You do? Yeah, I do all of it. Nice. So I write, I produce, I direct them all. I do the, um, the posters, the graphics, all that stuff. Good um, work. And then the students will act in them, or in the, this case, you know, students' children will act in them. But, you know, pretty much all of the other work, you know, lighting, uh, uh, direct, you know, the camera um, operation, sound, um, Everything like that, that's all students. It's blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, thanks for showing me, man. I'll let you go back so you can go oh, eat. Yeah, it's Stitch, that. Luna's favorite toy. <laughs> actually one of our really good friends, Chrissy. She made that. She just recently graduated. And the Ninja Turtles. Those are the new ones, though. Those don't count. Hannah, the girl you were just talking to at the other building with the purple hair. This is hers. She made this Oh, she made this? Mm -hmm. Nice. Do I still have signal in here? Yes, I do. So far. Thanks. This is where they're doing the video? Where's Mark at? Right there. Hi, Mark. This dude. I had their What's up? Face. It's fine. I don't nice mind. To I'm nice to meet you. Um, yeah, Hello so again. We're, uh, still getting prepped and kind of lighting and stuff right here. Um, we're like, two is when our actress gets here. Um, Woody, who's the artist. Is he still live streaming? Here's yep. somewhere. Oh, he just stepped out. But um, so then uh, around like 2.30, 3 o'clock is when we're going to start actually like shooting and shooting. So it's like, uh, right cool. now they're just kind of getting some rigging and final lighting stuff put up. But, yeah. yeah. We're just coming by to take a look. Yeah, no, definitely. Man. Showing some people what you guys are doing. Um, come in, come in like whenever you want. You know, if you guys are popping out and stuff. But it's uh, we'll be here from probably in, like till. Like, is that days. part of it, or is that just something you guys moved no, to the that's side? Just something that was. I want to go see it. It was for uh, another project we did called Flickr. Um, oh, okay. So, uh, question: Did you already meet Merck? I don't know who's Merck. Oh, him? No, I just met him now. That's Merck. Make sure to call him Merck. Merck, okay. Says to call you Merck. 
No, no, don't do that. Please don't yeah, do that. Yeah, Wait, call him Mark. Merc. Merc. Yeah. Uh, so he called me Merc once, and he's like, now you're Merc. Cool. So yeah, um, what we're doing here is um, we're just rigging up um, some of our... We just got LED quasar tubes. Oh, nice. Um, they're kind of a, one of the newer things that have gotten into the industry. A lot of people are jumping over to LEDs. And they don't get them. hot. Yeah, no, that's the big thing for us, you know, because um, we're like a lot of the other lights we use, like the second you turn them on for about five minutes, you go and touch them, it's going to yeah. be So um, we're going all LEDs today. Um, they're rigging them all up. And we're going to run them um, all back into power on the grid and stuff. Um, again, it's kind of nice having access to a space like this. We're actually um, outside of actual downtown Pittsburgh. We're the biggest um, sound stage in the area. So uh, it's nice being able to bring in more projects and stuff like this here. But um, yeah, so it's um, all the lighting and stuff and all the rigging is being done by our current students and stuff. So it's giving them a chance to kind of, uh, again, kind of put some of the stuff we've taught them into a real world situation, real world scenario and stuff. But um uh, so like each one of these tubes takes up like five watts of power, so we can put oh, nice. all of these and even more into one circuit. We're not going to blow it. Or yeah, and if you get like generators outside on set, yeah, you can deal with all of it. Actually, we've ran some of these off of um, uh, AC adapters in cars and stuff like that. Yeah. You know? So it's like they take up hardly any power at all. Yeah, or like so. battery backups exactly. I've used too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's um, they're just super nice to have. You know, it's a super convenient for us. And then um, the other lights we're bringing in, we have other LED panels and stuff like that. So it's a uh, at least on today's shoot a little. The majority of stuff is going to be all LED lit. Why don't you uh, share some of your spicy, controversial opinions? Uh, I can't. Oh, that's not this. No. Yeah. <laughs> wrong stream. Right. Yeah, 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 wrong yeah, stream. Yeah. Uh, we can go, I can show you around in the, the film building in the alien. Yeah. Oh, the alien from Independence yeah. Day? She was telling me that they have the actual alien from Independence yeah, Day uh, here. The one that they used, with, that was that they used to drag out. Oh, on this side? It's like backstage area. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't want to bu bug them and make them feel uncomfortable while they're getting ready. Yeah. All right. Let's hope that it still works down here. So we've got editing suites down here, and then these little individual ones are like study crawls. They can stuff their computers on them. Oh, cool. So they're just like little mini offices? Yeah. And there's Mark, my baby Mark. Are we just Mark? <laughs> Look, all the film reels up there. This is our sound and video. Oh, cool. It's nice and professional. You can go in there if you want to. Base management controller. You don't need to manage no base, just let it free. Oh, what is this? Bones. Yeah, that's where we do Foley, so maybe like all kinds of different sounds. I am looking for my light, but I guess you probably already have one. There you go. That's a nice place. My favorite part is the kitty. The kitty? Yeah. Hang in there. Somebody drew a mustache on him and a six pack. This place is huge. Mm -hmm. There's so many rooms. You guys have a movie theater in here? We do. I'll show you that. This is where they do a lot of their editing on the documentary class. Look at you all fans. Oh, wait, the alien. Oh, yeah. Let's show them the alien. I was going to wait until the end, but okay. Look at this thing. Yeah, so that's the screen used one from when he's Yeah, that's the actual one from the movie, right? Yep. When he's in the parachute. And he's being dragged around on the floor and stuff. Uh -huh. And what did they do with these in the movie? Did they just tie them to a bunch of strings or ropes and stuff and then dangle them around to get them all moving? I believe so because there's a metal armature in Here, stand in front of it. Look at how big this thing is. Yeah, it's still tall as hell. It's so, so awesome. You can see Have you guys ever watched that movie? Did you guys watch Independence Day with Will Smith? It's a little beat up now because it's from latex, which is why it's down here in the dark. Well, yeah, it's over 10 years old, too. Yeah, I think it's closer to like 20 years. But like with foam latex, you have to keep it in a cool, dark environment or else it'll disappear, yeah. which is why it's kind of hidden back here. Man, that is so cool. I'm sorry, Look at this. I, to be once in my life. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't do it. Yeah. All right, let's see what it would look like if you were back here hanging out on one of the back rows watching a movie. 
this movie's pretty enjoyable. <laughs> Do they teach audio here for movies? Like mm-hmm. um, all the effects for, for that? Mm-hmm. In that room? Is yeah. where they test? Because I noticed that the sound here is set up with, where it's pretty much surround. So I was wondering if they actually teach how to do surround sound and everything here. As far as I know, yeah. Um, like I said, that was the one that we just showed, the one mm-hmm. sound room. Um, so they teach you full use, your ADR, your all that. And that's in their second or third semester. I can't remember. So it's... That's so cool, though. Oh, do you want to see the equipment room since it's open? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go see the equipment. I'm still at 15, so we're okay. There's more of the short film. The stunning was the one that was filmed in the Godfather room, so I was telling you that one before. Yeah, you posted this online, right? Mm -hmm. I remember seeing it. We were saying we could talk to a student about the school, and we suggested Sebastian. Very good. Hi, I'm Dro. (laughs) Nice to meet you. What semester are you now? I am a third semester. You like it here? Yeah. Yeah. I learned. I learned a lot. Have you uh, put out anything yet? No, no, well, <laughs> not me personally, but I had worked on a few things that right. people's put out, but not at the moment. But do do you working, plan on doing it? Yes, own? yes, I am work, planning on working on them pretty soon, actually. What um, kind? Like a silent, um, about minute. Oh, short. okay. So just a short. Yeah, just a short. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where everybody borrows stuff, rents stuff out for the stuff they're shooting. Thank See you later, man. It's nice meeting you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so it's also a work study position too. <laughs> no? Okay. No. All right. I'm going to end the stream here because uh, I'm gonna, we're probably going to get going in a little bit. But thank you guys for watching. I'll come back on a little bit later. Like I said, I was going to do a stream out of the house uh, when I get back. So I'll talk to you guys then. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. I can always relay them to her if you guys are interested in finding out more about this place. But um, I hope you enjoyed it, for real. Like, I thought it was really cool seeing all this stuff. And I'm amazed at the amount of uh, just detail and everything in this building. It's so, so awesome. All right, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, I appreciate it, Alex. And thank you guys for hanging out for all this time. Um, I hope it didn't get really bad on the stream i know sometimes we lost connection but so far it's looked like it's been pretty good so uh, we'll see how the footage looks back when i get home all right have a good day bye